Hey guys, welcome back to this Filmora class. In the last video, we learned how to create a beautiful cinematic teal and orange look, but you might have noticed that your videos still look very... just something is missing. It's just too digital. So in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to add a few tweaks like elation, glow, and grain to make your videos more cinematic and less digital. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. You might actually be surprised when I say that this camera that I'm shooting this right now could actually make a Netflix movie because it's actually Netflix approved. But the point is that it doesn't matter how big your camera is or how small your camera is, Hollywood movies look that way not only because of the size of the sensor and the camera and the power of the camera, but also because they add a few tweaks that most people don't really notice. In fact, most films use elation, glow, and grain, and texture to add to each single scene a different character, and to blend all of the colors and all of the scene together. These three main elements are mostly to make whatever film, whatever video you're shooting, make less digital, because these cameras that we have nowadays are perfect. But in cinematography, you don't want your shot to be perfect. You want it to be a bit grainy, a bit textury, a bit glowy. You don't want everything to be sharp the same as in photos. So let's find out how to make this in Filmora 12. To add these effects is actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy, but you have to know what looks good and what doesn't. So first thing first, let's go into our Filmora and add a glow effect. Just type in glow into your effects. Drag it on top of your footage and you will see that it's very straight in your face. It's very extreme. Luckily, I've done this for you, so you can just use my settings because I know this will look good. So feel free to tweak, but I recommend starting out with this. So usually I use 30 under the glow strength and then the opacity at 20. This make sure that your edges are nice and glowy without actually exaggerating and making the footage too fake. Once it is done, glow and elation are pretty much added to your footage. There is different ways you can do this, but with not film 12, the easiest way to do it, this is it. Then we're gonna add a bit of texture and grain. And again, if you look up grain into effects, there is a million of effects that come up, so you can decide yourself which one you like most. But the one that I find to be the nicest one and the more realistic one is the 35 millimeter film grain. You can use any of this from this pack, but this specific one, the real film grain, 35 millimeter, it's, I think it's the best one. So you just drag, drop it on your footage, and you're pretty much done. You don't have to tweak anything for this one because it's always pretty much the perfect amount of grain. In the footage, it doesn't look too much, it doesn't look too less, and it doesn't look like your ISO is too high either. Once you're happy with this, I always add the cinematic black bars. Again, there's a million ways of doing this. You can change your crop, so when you upload it into any platform, it will automatically have those bars. But if you wanna have those bars and just overlay them on top, simply search for a cinematic frame with the effects and you're pretty much done. Remember to adjust your video because obviously this is just an overlay. So the top and the bottom of your video will be cut off. So make sure you frame your video better. These are only a few examples on how to step up your videos and how to make them more cinematic. As always, learn, try something new, try yourself, make it yours. See you guys in the next lesson.